to play Lalo over the Town Hall is a very insane approach for Queen Charge Lalo nowadays. And if you want to know how this works, stay tuned. Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next Queen Charge Lalo video. Like I said, today we will have a look at the Lalo when you play Lalo over the Town Hall. You know, normally when you play Lalo over the Town Hall, you are charging Parasite. So it's kind of logical that you're not charging the Town Hall when you play Lalo over the Town Hall. So we will focus in the start of the attacks at the Queen Charge at Farsight when you're not going for the Town Hall. And then in the end of the hits, um, we will have a look at the Lalo, where I place my Hounds, how to place the balloons, how to use the spells so that your Town Hall Lalo gets the most value as possible. So first of all, we will have a look at this kind of yeah, very well known box base. What is my approach on this one? I am playing my Queen Charge straight into the Monolith and the Ricochet Cannon multi Tower at this side. I am playing my Flameflinger at 12 o'clock because the Flameflinger should get the scatter shot. Yeah. So um, playing the balloons to lure out possible Tesla I found there, so it all should be fine. My king at the same time at 3 o'clock should run outside of the compartment. I can warbreak him again towards the scatter shot and with the giant gauntlet, his insane equipment, the king should get the whole compartment to be honest. So let's have a look again at the queen charge. I have one warbreaker here. I can warbreak towards the core. Very essential to place this warbreak here at the right time. Um, so yeah, I can reach both multi inferno towers. And now very insane on this base. Play a solo, play your hound solo. So the hound will lure out the tornado trap, all the red mines and will lure out the poison tower and do this early enough. Then when the poison tower is running out, you can freeze the tunnel, your queen, let your queen die. You don't use your spells to secure your queen because now look at the Lalo. With the perfect vulnerability, there's no more air damage behind the town hall. I can use the freeze spell at 9 o'clock to freeze the warden and the multi arch tower and there's no more air defense left. Nothing. So you see, the loons are crushing the whole base. I even don't need my royal champion on this base because the town hall Lalo on this base is so easy when you know how you should do it. Like I said, hound early to lower out the tornado trap to trigger the poison tower and it's an easy 3 star on the space. So let's have a look at the next attack. This space here now is a kind of ring box space. What is my approach here? I saw that I can play a nice flame ring at 3 o'clock to funnel for my queen for this side. As well I can place my king at 6 o'clock. You see the king with the ability should get a nice funnel at 6 o'clock. Get enemy queen, get the enemy king and all those funnel at the outside with the storages and all that stuff. At the same time, I can charge the whole eagle compartment with my queen charge. Do you think this will work? Well, let's see. The warbreaker should open up perfectly, but now it's important how is the clan castle timing for my queen charge here now. My queen going towards the multi front tower. Now the eagle is on the queen, one ground bow and scatter shot. It's not that perfect timing, but it should be fine. You see, I'm playing already now the Lalo. Why do I do this? I want to get down the Expo at 6 o'clock and I don't even need to get more value with my Queen Judge at the moment. So now my Lalo can get the Town Hall. I'm playing the Royal Champion with it because the Town Hall compartment is really heavy and the Royal Champion is a nice supporter at this time. Now vulnerability together with Digistan so that the Town Hall goes down and now you see I have the rage spells and the perfect pathing for the balloons behind the town hall, the royal champion to crush through this space. Next a free spell here on the ricochet cannon, the ground bow and you see my royal champion here. Some balloons clearing the ricochet cannon, my queen here is alive in the core and you see this should be fine. Although my Lalo is already dead, it shouldn't be an issue because with my Lalo I get out the whole damage of the space with the tunnel compartment. And now you see my queen is here with healers. I can use her ability. I have one balloon here still to place. I'm searching after some cleanup spots if I forgot one building in the corner. But that's not the case. So my queen can clear out the whole base now with the healers. And this is as well a nice and kind of fast approach if you want so to start a Lalo at 2. 
minutes rest of the attack. Now we will see a diamond base where I play Lalo over the town hall. The plan here is, yeah, I guess not that difficult. I want to charge the eagle, monolith and all that stuff. How can this work? Playing my flameflinger as well to funnel the queen for one side. So the queen will decide on which side she wants to go towards like 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock. My flameflinger is funneling the 8 o'clock side so if my queen decides to go to this side my queen then should go towards the multi arch tower where I can wall break her towards the core and the multi inferno towers. At the same time I saw I can play my king for the 3 o'clock compartment where is the scatter shot you see the enemy queen pulls my king into the compartment so I don't, doesn't, don't have to make more thoughts about the funnel there. Playing some cleanup behind the king and you see the whole 3 o'clock compartment is down and the king as well is luring out the clan castle what is a nice aspect to be honest because I don't have like 4 super minion shots I don't know how, much, how many shots super minions have with the high range but um, all those shots goes towards the king and the queen clan castle timing should be easy though. Like I said, the wall breakers towards the core worked perfectly. My Yetis at the same time clearing out the scatter shot at 9 o'clock. With the headhunter, the royal champion is going down as well. And you see, I have a lot of spells for my queen charge. I'm investing like all the spells for the queen charge because the Lalo only has to get have to get the town hall. The hound lured like all the red mines. I'm freezing the town hall one time. I have the haste bow so that the balloons get into the town hall very fast. Using the warren ability, the tornado trap is kinda ugly for my Lalo. That's also the reason um, why I don't play my royal champion into the town hall. Why should I? I only get the town hall with the Lalo and this is enough value for me. Because I can play the royal champion like surgically, then for the last ground bow and the rest is only clean up for the space. Now we have again a kind of fame box space I guess. There are some the space exists with different tweaks, but this approach works the, I guess, the most time. Playing my queen directly into the range of the enemy king, this should work perfectly with one headhunter to clear out the funnel at this side. My flameflinger at the bottom side at 6 o'clock to funnel out this side, clearing out the air defense and all that stuff. You see as well that I funneled for my king into the, yeah, world champion compartment. This doesn't work perfectly at this time, but let's see how the king will ramp. King clearing out this whole compartment here and I can play nice war breakers for my queen. And like I said, the flame flinger at 6 o'clock funneling in a perfect way for my queen charge, taking out the bomb tower now. At the same time the queen is targeting the clan castle soon, taking out the eagle now the clan castle timing is a bit heavy with like two scatter shots and one ground bow, but the value of the queen shot is just too good, as if this would be any problem. You see, queen now going towards the scatter shot. Due, due to the invisible spell on my queen, the flame flinger opens up, but that is not an issue because my queen now goes towards the core, gets the scatter shot. And now you see Royal Champion towards the Multi Inferno Tower. So, Multi Inferno Tower is going down early, and I'm playing now Lalo over the tunnel. You see, the pathing for the tunnel should be very nice. I'm using the early haste spell here so that the balloons get into the tunnel compartment. Now, the rage so that I get both balloon groups from the tunnel here. I can use my queen ability so that the queen is going onto a ward. This wall she targets is kind of really stupid. But um, yeah, I can do anything, <laughs> can't do anything against it. But you see now, I have some tanking troops for the back in the wall breaker, the balloon. And you see as well, my queen here, now on the wall, she doesn't have enough damage so that she gets down. World champion with the warden taking out the multi archer tower. And you see now my queen can finish with all her time the base. Because there's no damage in the back end which could kill the queen now. Wall should go down soon. Now there's one Inferno Tower left, two Tesla, and some cleanup troops doing some cleanup here already. But this shouldn't be any time issue. So we have the next three star with those. Yeah, 
Lalo over the tonal attacks and the faster queen charges. It's important that you know where you use your siege. I'm mostly using the flame flinger to yeah, like funnel for one side for the queen and the king for the others for the other side. Because you can king use your king where you want to. Mostly to funnel your queen. Now we see unfortunately the queen step doesn't step that nice and it's like a time funnel unfortunately, but the power would have been enough. Let's have a look now another at, at another box space with two rage towers and two sweepers against the six until nine o'clock side. It looks really heavy to charge in the space to be honest. Look at the tonal compartment. Two ground balls behind it, monolith, warden, heavy CC timing. But with the charge I'm doing, I don't know if this is really much better. Well, let's have a look at it. My plan was to charge into the scatter shot, playing the flame fling as well as funnel for my queen charge. Why do I do this? The flame flinger, yeah, creates like a pathing for the queen, so that the queen is pathing like inside of the base. The king at the same time to funnel the top side, and um, yeah, tanking the ricochet cannon for my queen, so that the queen has a yeah nice pathing and not that heavy damage. Queen killing the clan castle troops, the ice golems. This looks pretty nice. The 12 o'clock set as well is cleared by the funnel. Um, is sorry, is cleared because the king is funneling. And um, yeah, you see my queen charge going through the base now on the one ground bow. Rage tower lures out, so you see now really much damage on my queen with rage inferno tower, rage ground bow, and all that stuff. So I'm using the ability. But now let's focus on the Tornal Lalo. I'm playing the Hound this way so that the Hound lure out all the traps which are in front of the Tornal. Now the haste on the right group so that I have a nice pathing in the Tornal and my balloons behind the Tornal can go towards the Monolith. Unfortunately there's the Tornado Trap so it's kinda ugly for me so that the balloons come out. But you see the balloons are tanking the Monolith and the Warden and taking this out together with the Warden. Now playing the Royal Champion in the core to secure the healers because my queen unfortunately died due to this heavy damage here in the back end. But I have now healers on my Royal Champion and what should stop my Royal Champion with healers in this space? You see freezing the enemy Royal Champion, I have one free spell here left to use on the ground damage here with the yeah, double cannon with the ground bow multi inferno tower, Royal Champion ability. And you see all the Stevenses will go down. The Tornal Lalo wasn't that easy to play, but you see very effective to clear out the Torn of the Rage Tower, the ground bows and all that heavy stuff. So let's have a look at the next base and maybe you're wondering, like the video is about Laloing Lalo over the tunnel, and this is like a ring base. Why should you play Lalo <laughs> over the tunnel on a ring base? Well, let's see how this works. I can tell you my plan. Well, my plan was to, yeah, charge obviously the town hall. While breaking my queen into the eagle compartment and then towards the rage tower in the core. My king at the same time to funnel the one o'clock side with the enemy queen and, yeah, creating a nice pathing. At the same time, the flame flinger with the same job at nine o'clock. But now already you see, rage tower is triggered. Look at the damage on my queen. Rage Tesla, Rage Expo, and I'm, ha I'm <laughs> yeah, I have to use the inverse, otherwise I have had to use the Queen ability. Now two Rage Merged Arch Tower on my Queen together with the Sweeper on the healers. It's really heavy damage. At the same time, the Sweeper, you see it. Now the healers are in the air defense. I have to use my Queen ability, and now my Queen unfortunately isn't stepping. That's perfect. You see all the healers I'm losing here, and with two healers against the scatter shot, against two scatter shots with only one, two freezes left, I saw okay, this can't really work now. The rage is triggering, and at this moment, I knew I won't get the tunnel with the queen. You see, my queen is down, so now I have to secure the two star. You see, I have the percentage so that the tunnel gets activated, activated at 51%. I can drop now the tunnel on the the, the loons on the tunnel. You see the order where I yeah place the troops. At the first the balloons, then the hound, 
because no air defense is left, the Hound is as well on the tunnel. Now late vulnerability, the Rage out of the tunnel compartment and now look at the perfect loon, balloon split after the tunnel. The multi infernal towers both are go going down, the ricochet cannons and the yeah, and the ground bows going down as well. I have my royal champion to use here now for the backhand troops. But you see, this also is crushed. Although I didn't get the tunnel with the queen. Because the pathing for the balloons after the tunnel was so insane. So it's enough to secure this attack. Not planned by me, I'm honestly. No, this wasn't planned. But it also works because Lalo is just very insane when you know how to play it. Now we have a kind of stuck box space here with two poison towers and a lot of damage in the core. With a single inferno tower, sweepers, scatter shots, they are very inside of, deep inside of the base. Looks like a very ugly base when you see this in Legends and think about, okay, I have to queen shush this one. Look at it, three single inferno towers, monolith and all that stuff. Now it seems like I have an ugly clan castle timing. But the queen is directing to the monolith because I raged very early. So monolith is going down and now my queen can yeah, care about the clan castle. Unfortunately my king as well is running towards the ice, the ice golems and not funneling at the 9 o'clock side. A bit unfortunate for me but at the same time look at the other funnel troop. Flame flinger at 6 o'clock. Clearing out the scatter shot should get, should get the bomb tower as well and then the scatter shot. Queen now on the clan castle, I'm raging her up and I have no warbreaker to warbreak her towards the core. This is kind of an issue because I don't get the eagle, I can't lure the poison towers for the Lalo. But I have <laughs> kind of luck if you want to because the flame flinger opens up the walls for my queen. So my queen can go towards the single inferno tower, killing out this one, the scatter shot as well and going now into the eagle or better say she can reach the eagle from this compartment. I got a lot of value with my queen charge at this time and now 1 minute 20 I have to start the Lalo. From the 4 o'clock side so that I have a nice pathing for the Lalo over the town hall. The hound going towards the air defense, the air defense will go down very soon and then the hound will fly over the town hall compartment, will pop very soon and will trigger out the poison tower and some traps. If there are tornado trap, red mines and all that stuff. And you see three red mines here I could lure very nicely for me. Now the warden isn't following perfectly because the warden is following two yetis instead of like 15 balloons. Very unfortunately for me here. But I have like a few balloons in the warden ability so I get a bit more while you're out of the tunnel compartment. But it makes it more difficult to three star here for me. Now the Royal Champion with the Rage here to clear out the 12 o'clock side, to clear out the Scatter Shirt together with the Healer Swap, the dig is done. Now the Scatter should go down and the Warden doing cleanup as well. Now Royal Champion on the single, so no, not, no really defense of, is left, although the Tesla at the top. And now it comes up to the time, if the time is enough for me to triple here. But I guess it should be because skeletons are going down and have some cleanup troops. So should be nice. Now we have another box space. My idea here was to blimp the multi, the multi inferno tower and to get as well more value here with the yetis. But you see the multi inferno tower is staying up. I got the multi arch tower, that's okay. But I for sure wanted to get the multi inferno tower here. But this didn't work. So at this point I knew okay I have to react and think about my plan. Because my plan was to charge the whole core of the space. You see when I warbreak my queen at 8 o'clock towards the cannon. I can warbreak my queen as well towards the sweeper in the core. And can reach monolith, eagle, inferno towers and all that stuff. Okay, let's have a look how this works. I'm funneling as well for my king at the 6 o'clock side so that the king is getting the yeah, ground bow compartment here and um, so that yeah the compartment is down and I can wall break towards the core and to take out damage as well. You see, early king ability, how you know. 
now the next wall break so that the elixir storage as well is going down and now i have one wall breaker left this one wall break should be perfect and the wall break is running should open up hopefully and this looks very nice here for me now i have to have a look at my healers now they are in the multi inferno tower starting my lado as well on the town hall but this should be good to go lalo into the town hall you see i have to use the vulnerability now where the second scatter shot comes towards it and now again the lalo crushing the next scatter shot is going down loons are getting out of the town hall poison so yeah the next ricochet cannon is going down as well i'm using the royal champion at this side so that i get the multi inferno tower the ground band all those heavy defenses in the back end very early with my world champion and there's no more defense left in this attack lalo crushing the town hall with the two scatter shots the ricochet cannon behind the town hall to take out the damage for the heroes and now i can play as well i could play as well <laughs> like i did the royal champion surgical for the back end defenses Now we have again a box space. This box space looks kind of very weird, I guess, with the tonal compartment. But yeah, I have to attack it. It's Legend League and I want to triple. So my plan here was to flame fling as well the scatter shot here um, at the six o'clock side and to charge as much as possible off the core of this base. Funneling for my king as well. The Warbreaker was, wasn't perfect, the first one, but the second one did a great job to open up towards the multi inferno tower compartment so with the king ability i should get all those stuff at the same time my queen charge going into the clan castle is coming out and um you see i unfortunately has to use the queen ability have to use the queen ability because the rocket loons were too fast on the queen and with the heavy drop damage of the rocket loons yeah it was kind of impossible to secure the ability now we will have a look at the wall break isn't running that perfectly here for me so um, i can't wall break towards the clan castle what i wanted so that i get the air sweep the air sweepers and the multi inferno tower but okay starting the lalo now into the town hall from the three o'clock side you see the balloon group at 1 30 so that i have a funnel for my balloons so that the yeah main balloon group is pushing towards the builder hut and the town hall at this time now perfect freeze on all those stuff with monolith tesla and so on next freeze again so that the tunnel uh, yeah doesn't do that much damage now vulnerability with the head until you see the head until in the vulnerability tanking at the one side the scatter shot and the multi arch tower ends for sure taking out the enemy queen world champion as well in the back end so that the world champion dodges the town hall poison the giga poison and can clear the back end defenses like i said in the earlier attack now royal champion ability to clear air defense all those defenses and this as well an overkill with my queen charge still alive the yetis royal champion and all that stuff now we will have a look at the last base and the last attack of this video maybe you're wondering i'm playing like flame blinger at 11 o'clock playing my queen at 12 o'clock why is this a uh, town hall lalo video well you will see how my queen will step my plan was how you may think to charge the town hall but my queen had other plans my queen now going towards the king plateau bomb tower and at this moment i wasn't sure will she turn around will she go to the three o'clock side and you see at this moment i knew okay my queen will walk for the whole time but okay what what should i do yeah, just play the attack as good as possible. Maybe I can warbreak my queen back. Maybe the warbreak on the dead zone works. I don't know. Warbreak in theory works, but the warbreak is too late. Look at where my queen is. My queen is completely walking the whole attack. And the town hall will be skipped for the whole attack as well. So yeah, now I have not a queen charge. I have like a queen walk on the whole base. The flame flinger did like a bit of funnel i guess at the 10 30 o'clock set and it looks like i can't save this attack all is going the wrong way but now has a look at the lalo pathing i can drop the balloons towards the tunnel directly diggy stuns the tunnel you see this now the freeze comes up for the town hall 
and I can use my spells here for the Lalo. Haste spell, Rage spell, so that my balloons are pushing towards the core, whereas the heavy damage with the Moki Inferno Tower, with the Monolith, all that stuff, I'm using my spells here so that I'm securing my balloons in the core to get all that value here. As well, raging my queen at the top side so that she get more value. This didn't work perfectly, but okay. One hound over because I didn't need the hound. You can use as well your hound in the wall and ability over the town hall so that the hound is lowering out all the traps in the core. But at this side, it was as well good to use the hound for the back end air defense. And now, world champion with the fox and warren. Now, Royal Chairman is visible, so using the free spell, now the fox should make bo both invisible, like you can see. Now Royal Champion in ability, so Rickshaw Cannon should go down soon. Now again, the fox will make the stuff invisible, and here we go again. Next reset on this base, like a kind of interesting attack, but you see the power of Lalo. I hope you enjoyed.